Welcome back to Access Daily. We got the red party cups. We're ready to yeah. go. Joining us now, one of our favorites, Whitney Cummings. I Salud. love you, yeah. Yeah. All right. We switched to beer because last time we got extra rowdy. So now we're just going to down these. We really did. First of all, these do say Make America Great Again, just so you guys hey, know. Hey, there we go. Wait, Whitney, do you remember when we Yo, okay. Can I tell you something? <laughs> this is, there is a shortage of Adderall in California. I don't know, it's the fentanyls in the water. It's not normal that she felt no pain. No pain. Okay. I was just Adrenaline. mad that I let you down. We were partying for the moment. We were celebrating your 40th birthday. And then over the top you went. You were mad? You don't have a patella anymore. Where's your, where's your kneecap? The meniscus gone. The Access Hollywood Health Insurance can't be that good. <laughs> no, I'll carry all. you on my back anytime. What happened the next morning? What was, what did Felt you? Felt like a million bucks. I'm just mad I missed the party. Speaking How? of party, you hit, the, you hit the fourth level. Congratulations. Uh, oh, being 40? Yes. No one believes it, so that I can't celebrate it. <laughs> it's like I can't even enjoy my birthdays because people are like, yeah, right. <laughs> did you do something fun for your 40th? Um, no. No. Well, I don't even remember. Oh, that was September 4th. No, I don't remember yeah. a thing. Okay. I'm just trying to get you guys moving on because I'm dating a girl now. Let's get to the meat. Wait, what? Whoa, whoa, okay, let's talk about let's that. Let's get to the fun stuff. Okay, oh, we what should happened? talk about Chrissy Teigen, though, also. No, okay, the, first, wait, first. you're not dating her. She's married. No, wait, who? <laughs> they're all over the place. What are we doing, baby? You don't make me the godmother of your baby because you want your baby taken care of. She obviously <laughs> wants me around. Yeah, I heard you're the best godmother ever to little Esty, to Chrissy's one. What I was thinking, though, is if you ever wanted children, does she now have to be your godmother? Is that like a thing? Like if someone asks you, how do you then not ask Chrissy? I could do it <laughs> pretty easily. Oh, oh. oh I, hey, his party started. I can't not be sexy even if I try. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, wait. Excuse me. Back to your you, dating wait, wait. There woman. was a single on you, and I panicked. I just went, boop. <laughs> Kids getting a little too much attention <laughs> during my it. interview. Let's keep so going. Who, here. <laughs> I'll show them. I didn't know. They're, they're not We're mics. dating a woman now. We need to know everything. So basically, you know, I was backstage, and the producer, you guys are like family to me. Yeah. He's like, are you still dating the same guy? Da, 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 da. Because from last time you were on, we were sort of talking about yeah, we were him talking or where about you it. Were. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And I thought it was so funny that like a year later he thought I was still in the same relationship. <laughs> it's always so funny to me. I'm like, do you guys not know me by now? Have I ever been in the same relationship more than a year? LOL. So I was like, no, I'm just I'm dating a girl because in LA it's the only way to be with someone that has any masculinity whatsoever. <laughs> so I've gotten to the point where in order to have someone that has masculine qualities, I've just started dating a girl. Wow. Let's um, keep it going. Well, we covered your uh, your dating life and, mm -hmm. and oh, okay, first you're doing roasts. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and you're producing, and these have, and these are your own roasts, correct? Yes. So uh, the Friars Club uh, roasting roast. comedy is one of the most important traditions in comedy. You know, the Friars Club used to do them. They're like the Super Bowl of comedy. They're like our prom, our Oscars, right? And the idea was to sort of um, cleanse us of our sins, you know, and to own our own mistakes, right? And then we moved into doing it for Comedy Central. I was a writer on them. I was a performer on them. My first was Joan Rivers. And you saw the sort oh. of grace that Legend. comedians can have. Yeah. We can own our mistakes and say, yeah, shouldn't have gone as that for Halloween 10 years ago. <laughs> and then they take it and they show people like, you don't have to just, you know, we see it all the time now. People are like, ah, this is what I Cancel. believe. Yeah, you said something that you still don't stand behind. You can go, oops. That was dumb, we all did it, you know? And that's how we kind of like relieve shame, you know? And then people started coming at comedians as if we were the bullies. We're the ones that get bullied the most. And what happened to the Oscars last year with Chris Rock, I found disgusting. Mm -hmm. And um, after sort of walking away from the Comedy Central roast, because I felt they got a little too, um, a little too rough in a way, a little too below the belt, you know? They started sort of involving celebrities in comics. And, and the deal about roast is that it's basically like um, boxing. It's, it's verbal boxing, mm -hmm. you know? And in boxing, you know more than anyone that you have weight classes. Right. You would never put a, a featherweight with a heavyweight. Good call. That right. would not be fun to watch. Good it analogy, gets awkward. Right. And then when you're on the dais, sometimes you get it worse than the person that they're supposed to be uh, well, I would leave and, and Lisa Lampanella and I would go cry, you yeah. know? So uh, what I will say, and something that I'm gonna do my public apology here to Pam Anderson, which is I, it's kept me up at night for the past, you know, 10 years. I take Lunesta, I'm fine. Um, <laughs> about sitting there and hammering <laughs> Pam Anderson over and over again. Um, was this it a roast for her? No, it was for David Hasselhoff, but she had already had her own roast, and you know the deal. We go sure. to these things, we're all hired to do a certain thing. You know, I had, you know, 
twenty dollars in my bank account and was shoplifting from Pink Dot and like <laughs> you know you do what you have to do and we basically go like well I'm gonna fight as hard as I have to fight this is what the game is we assume everyone that's there understands the deal but then you get there and then you see all these human beings getting hurt you know I felt like Carrot Top got his feelings hurt and then you're there and you're just like oh god like this tradition was supposed to be only heavyweights. So mm -hmm. I wanted to bring the roast back where it's only heavyweights and showing how we only talk like this uh, out of respect, you know? But so the Pam thing, was that uh, after watching the doc that you felt bad? No, I felt bad this whole time. I watched the doc. I was so blown away by her resilience. And I've, oh, I've wanted to reach out to her. I talked about it in my book about there was a, a show that I did um, with Carmen Electra where she was hosting it. And I wrote all these roast jokes that she, about her that she, she was like, I want to go hard. And I wrote about this in my book. And so I wrote jokes for her. Like, I've slept with so many, you know, horrible men. I don't have the clap. I have the applause. <laughs> you know, like, I wrote these kind of jokes for her. <laughs> That's great. And, and then I see her reading them and she's like, is this what people think about me? I'm like, no, these are jokes. Like, you know, I, you know, to me, if I were to go in the, you know, ring with Floyd Mayweather, I'd be like, can you take it easy on me? And he's like, I don't know how to do that. Yeah. That's not what we do here, you know? So yeah. I wanted to do a safe roast. It's all comics Great only. analogies, by the way. It really <laughs> is. I, thank you so much. It's almost <laughs> like I should have a writing career. Right? Uh, no, wait a second. This show is is on OnlyFans. OnlyFans is this, TV. Is this so, the first of its kind? Are you like correct. kind of... I am so pro OnlyFans, it's ridiculous. This is the computer no one will let me show. I don't know what's going on with this network. Wait, but is OnlyFans that the girl, is that like the nude? What is OnlyFans? So OnlyFans, I will tell you, OnlyFans is um, the company that has paid more women than any studio or network in Hollywood. Hey. I like okay? that. And these are women that are in bikinis, teachers, because we <laughs> underpay teachers in a way that is absolutely disgusting. And they're going to school not knowing if they're going to come home, right? Mm. And so they're getting on OnlyFans in a bikini to make, you know, 50 grand. And they own it. You own what you, you own, put out there. So you own your content. Correct. So half of and my friends. it's up friends to you are, to what, what you want to put on. Do you correct. have to have And an half own? of my friends on Instagram are posing in bikinis for no money. Yeah. What are you idiots right. doing? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Do you, do you have like, to have a, an OnlyFans account to watch the show? Nope. Or? Absolutely free I do not believe people should have to pay for comedy if they don't want it they shouldn't have to pay for it you know so how do you find awesome. it you're just gonna go OFTV.com it's gonna be right there for free you can watch it um, and uh, that's what I want to do I want to provide and it's also we have rules no calling a woman over uh, uh, under 80 old Okay. I like that. Milk porn is number one. You guys love us. You don't think we're old. So I wanted to give permission to comedians to go, you don't have to go to that place. No saying you're a creep that would roofie a woman. We wouldn't have any of those people here. Gotcha. You know, the, the jokes and no racism here. Not Who's welcome showing here. up on this? Who are we roasting? Uh, Donnell Rawlings. You yep. probably know him from the Chappelle show. Uh -huh. And then Burt Kreischer roast is April 1, which is April Fool's Day. And, is that uh, going to be the first one? Yes. And let me tell you something. He shows his the entire show. <laughs> You're gonna love it. It's topless. Oh, oh there wow. we go. There he is. It's complete fun madness. Comedians are silly Whitney, gooses. this is awesome. This is so much fun. Congratulations. Keep creating content. Thank you guys Thank for having me here. Best. And let me tell you real Listen. quick, this is one of my favorite shows in the world to come Aww. on. It means the world that you guys let yeah. me just be a comedian. Yes. Joan Rivers got in trouble all the time, too. She's my hero. So She was I a friend her. here, too. Favorite. So that's the awesome. Best. An honor. Uh, please be sure to check out Whitney Cummings Presents The Roast of Burt Kreischer streaming tomorrow on OnlyFans for free.